Most days of the week, a quiet, unassuming man of 78 strolls through the busy traffic of Toronto on his way to church. His name is Healy Willen, and his destination, the Church of St. Mary Magdalene. He has been organist and choir master there for nearly 40 years, and St. Mary's has become for him almost a second home. Healy Willen was only eight years old when he chose music as his profession. He conducted his first choir when he was 11. Since then, he has become recognized as the Dean of Canadian Organists and Composers. Many rich and famous cathedrals have tempted him with offers of important posts, but he prefers to remain at St. Mary's, where he helps plan the services with the rector, Father Crummer. At 78, Healy Willen still spends much of his time composing, and when he has finished a new work, hastens to try it out on the old, sweet-toned organ he loves so well. Perhaps there's just time for the new aria and fugue before the choir come to practice. The members of St. Mary's Choir give their spare time and their voices freely to make music with the man they respect and love as teacher and as friend. Come along now, please. Um, all right, Elmer, that'll be all right. We'll do that very soon now. Uh, Maggie, I want you to rise up, my love, my fair one out. Mm, I think that's about D flat. Hmm, it'll do. Come along now. Right? Yes, now just a minute. Um, I'd like to hear a little more of the altos in the, um, in the first bar there. And in the next bar, the tenor's rising up to that G flat. Let's come right up there. Just think of the words. That's the most important part of all singing. Now, once again, from the beginning, right? Now.
Okay. Now, I want a much better lead basis there, please, that word flowers. And in the last part there, um, singing of birds is come. Do you think you could do that without a breath? Without taking a breath before the last phrase, is come. It would be such a help if you could. Just start once again from uh, the flowers appear. And, uh, bases, right? Now. Right up, bases, right up here. Healy Willen came from England 40 years ago to teach at the Toronto Conservatory of Music. He is retired from teaching, but is still official organist to the university and a well-known figure on the campus. More than any other man, he has influenced Canadian music. Most Canadian composers have studied with him or with his pupils. And he still likes to drop in on his old haunts at the conservatory to see such former students as Godfrey Rideout. Notice everything in this fugue but the kitchen sink. For instance, this great augmentation here with the fugue subject in the middle part, then in the bass. Healy! Hello, I'm all sorry to butt in your child, but I do want to see you so much. You're not butting in at all, and now you're here, let's put you to some use. Dr. Willen used to teach me fugue. And he can teach you much better than I can. Well, you know, my dears, it is very embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm so out of practice. Um, you don't want a lecture this morning. I'm sure you don't. And um, I don't want to give one either. <laughs> now, look here, let's have some fun like we used to have in the old days. You remember, Godfrey. Uh, when you all came round the piano, cluster around the piano and sing out some notes, and we'll just see what we can do. Let's have some fun. Come along, come on. Now let's have some notes. E, E, C, 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 Oh, wait, wait a minute. Now look here, let's be serious for just a moment. When you study fugue, you must think of three things. First of all, the subject must have a tonal basis. Then the subject must have a shape, and it must have a rhythm. Now I heard E. Just then, that's a very good note. I'm rather fond of E myself, you know. <laughs> I am, really. I like it. Um, and I heard all sorts of notes like this coming all over, right up. Well, there's shape, of course. It goes up and it comes down again, but not enough. Uh, we'll take a few notes out of that lot, as far as I can remember them, and um, we'll make a subject of it. Now, there's rhythm, you see, coming here. Now, there's rhythm. Now, and not a bad little subject either. <laughs> no, it didn't really. Now, I'll play it to you now. Now, we'll start.
organist, choir master, teacher, Healy Willen is best known as the composer of more than 300 works, including symphonies, operas, a piano concerto, and many songs and religious services. Nearly all of them he wrote in the study he calls his junk room, cluttered with mementos and memories of his long career. Perhaps his greatest honor came in 1953, when he was commissioned to write a special homage anthem to be sung in Westminster Abbey at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Not long afterwards, the Archbishop of Canterbury conferred on Healy Willen the degree of Doctor of Music. He is still active, and music continues to be, as he puts it, his profession, his relaxation, his hobby, and his chief delight. Hello, dear, hello. Would you like some tea? Oh, uh, uh, yes, um, tea. Uh, wait a minute, just a minute. All right. Healy Willen's greatest pleasure is in the performance of the music he writes for his favorite choir and organ at the Anglican Church of St. Mary Magdalene. That'll do, I think. Ta -de -da -da -de -da -da -de -de. Ta -da -da -de 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 -de. Oh, he that is mighty hath magnified me. And holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He has shown. Yeah. Uh -huh. 